This tutorial I'll be showing you how to make save the date video in Canva or how to make save the date wedding invitation video in Canva. All you'll need to do once on canva.com you can create an account for completely free using your email address. Once you have a Canva account you are going to tap on the search bar and you are going to type in wedding invitation video. The reason why I recommend that you do this is with Canva, you'll be provided with numerous templates that you can use for completely free. So once you have typed in wedding invitation video, you will be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you'll see numerous templates that you can use for completely free. So all you'll need to do is hover over the template. Then from there, you can select one of your liking. Keep in mind that the templates that you see with the crown that says pro you would have to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use that particular template. But there are numerous templates that you can use for completely free as you can see right here. All you need to do is select the template that you would like. So for example, if I were to select this one, you can see it right here. So I'll tap on customize this template. After tapping on customize this template, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you can start adding your own personal touches. So for example, you could tap where you see the name. For example, you can see Maya and Oliver right here, Mia and Oliver. I could edit the name right there. So I could change this to my name right there. And I could change the name right here also. So you can edit the names. After doing that, you could also edit the date. And once you have done that, you can start dragging your image. So you can drag your image right here or your video. So to upload an image, all you will need to do is tap on uploads from the left hand menu option. Then you are going to tap on upload files. After you have done that, you will simply drag and place it. But let's say I would like to use a copyright free image. I could tap on elements in the top left hand corner, then tap on the search bar and I could type in couple in love. After I've done that, I could select videos and I could search for a copyright free video. So let's say for example, this one, and then you'll simply drag and place it right there and you can see how it looks. And I could drag and place another video if I want. So for example, this one, and you can see how they look right there. After you're finished, all you'll need to do now you can tap on the timeline and you could go to the other page. On this other page, you can choose whether you would like to add a video or you'd like to add a photo. At the moment, you can see that it is a video that is there. Again, you could add another video so you could drag and place the video. And again, you can edit the page if you want. So you could tap on the entire page. Then you could tap on the color box in the top navigation bar right here, top left hand corner and you could change the color if you want. After doing that, you can tap on the date and you could change the date right here. And then you can go across and you can continue editing each page. So you could upload a photo or video to this section also. And then you can tap across to the other page and you could edit this page also. Once you're finished, if you would like to adjust the length of any of the pages, all you'll need to do is tap on the page then from there, you could pull the page right here to the left if you want, if you would like to cut down on the length of the page. Or if it is a case that you like to add transition, you can do that. All you need to do between pages, you will tap on the icon that says add transition. Then from there, you can choose the transition that you would like to use. So you can see the different transition options. And also you could add audio if you want. So you can quickly add music. To upload music, all you'll need to do is tap on uploads from the left hand menu option. Then you'll tap on upload file and you could upload an audio track that you would like to use. If it is a case that you like to use one of the songs from Canva, you could do that by tapping on elements. After tapping on elements from there, you could type in, for example, you could type in, I don't know, let's say, love songs so we could type in love songs real quick then after doing that you can see the option audio you could tap on see all and from here you could scroll down 
and then from there you could choose a song of your liking so you can scroll down and once you have found a song that you like you can quickly drag and use it keep in mind that majority of the songs as you can see right here you would have to be a paid user on canva to get access to it as you can see majority of them has the pro sign but you could narrow down your search and you could type in different stuff that you would like to use different genres or so on or you could simply add a song from your device and then from there you could upload it onto your save the date video but let's say for example i would like to use this song all i would need to do is simply drag and place the song right here after you have added the song you can simply drag it to the front right there and from there you could continue you could drag out the entire song so you would like the song to fill out the entire timeline once you are finished all you will need to do now is tap on share in the top right hand corner then from there you could tap on download and you want to ensure that you have selected mp4 video then you will tap on download to download your save the day video and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe